Good afternoon and welcome to St. Tiernox Park in Clonus, County Monaghan for the Ulster Football Final of 1999. The Armagh football team appearing for the first time since 1982. This 1999 Ulster Football Final is about to get underway. This could set Armagh up very nicely as they counter-attack. Coming through the middle is John McEntee, but the point is very well taken. This time, Oshin McConville leads Armagh onto the scoreboard. From Drummond T. Made his debut in 1991 against the county he's playing today in an Ulster final. O'Rourke trying to swing over this side. Nicely taken by Jim and Could easily score from here. Marsden is so dangerous. Down in the attack. Shane Ward. Nice ball into us, Kieran McKay. Can he turn it sufficiently? He can. Andrew McCann. Into us, Dermot Marsden. Faced by Finbar Caulfield. Great run by Marsden. This is a wonderful chance. Oh, a great goal for Armagh. It was simple but beautiful. Armagh are delighted. A defence splitting move between Marsden and McConville. Nobody really running into the space inside, and there was plenty of it there. Back to Ross Carr, and under tremendous pressure, Ross Carr puts it over the bar. Good work by Justin McNulty, who's beginning to grow in confidence on Mickey Linden. Ger Reed, a ball really for nobody in particular but maybe Marsden can gather it. Oh, what a finish. A hopeful ball sent in by the fullback, Joe Reed. But that weakness in the down fullback line has been truly exposed. This time, it's Marsden. Brother of Brian, who played in the 1982 All-Ireland Football semi-final against Roscoe. The tradition continues. The spirit, despite the lack of success, never quenched. As Armagh threaten again, Marsden is available in the centre. Beautiful skill by McConville, and the finish, once again, is of a premium standard. Armagh lead by two goals and five points, thanks to goals by Marsden and McConville to Downs, six points. The brains of this Armagh setup: Brian McAlinden and Brian Canavan, two former colleagues on Armagh senior football teams for many years. This is great play by the Orchard County. Looking very attractive going forward. Marsden with possession, feeding Oshin McConville. The dynamic duo, do it again in Clonus. This is an unbelievable performance. Down have possession. Nicky Linden again. Now they've got options here, perhaps. Gregory McCartney, from a difficult angle, takes his point. Once again, it's Armagh. Paddy McKeever cutting inside. This is a great run by McKeever. Brought down. This surely is a penalty. The referee is pointing to the spot. This will surely mean the Ulster title for Armagh. And he scores. Happy, happy people. The people of Armagh. Tony McEntee, Kieran McGuinney. It's a joyous day for Armagh. Ulster champions 1999. What a way to end the 20th century. They've done it in Clonus. Scenes of uncontrollable joy. The full-time score in Clonus reads a remarkable scene. Armagh 312, down 10 points. What Cross McGlenn have done, Armagh will do. For they, Armagh, are the Ulster champions of 1999. The anglo Cell Cup returns to the Orchard County. Kieran McGinney hoping to lead his side into that All-Ireland final, fully focused. Michael Collins from Clannacilty and West Cork is the man in charge. And away we go.
is from the right half back, Paul Casey. Flicking it in towards the corner, Ray Cosgrove. Good play by Dublin. Are they going to score first in this semi final? Semi final. Joe Kernan with his fellow selectors. This is most unusual. We have several 2,000 Armagh supporters, I believe, in the middle of Hill 16. Wonderful to see. Great sporting spectacle. John McEntee looking again for Stephen McDonald. Shooting. The ball is going straight over the bar. A fabulous point by Stephen McDonald. Once again, Armagh pick up the loose breaking ball. Ronan Clark, Paddy Christie, but it's Clark that gets the pass from John McIntyre. Good run by Clark. And he sends it over the bar. An interesting first half, but certainly a team, two teams level for three times in this match, but level most importantly at half time. Armagh playing with a lot more fire in their bellies now at the start of the second half. Paul McGrain again using Stephen McDonald. Has players available behind and in front of him. Goes for John Toll. There's a chance here for Armagh. Chance for Paddy McKeever. The referee has blown his whistle and I think he's giving the free. I've given the goal. Paddy McKeever. A man who had the score as I mentioned in the first half since the Ulster semi-final. Alan Broger. Can Dublin respond? Look at Kieran Whelan. Chance of a goal. Oh, what a shot! Forget the first half. This is the second half. A most memorable start. Johnny McGee uses Kieran Whelan. Scored four points in the quarter-final replay against Donegal. But what about that goal? He scored from this angle against Donegal, and he's done it again against Armagh. Breaking ball picked up by Aidan O'Rourke. Nice interplay between Roland Clark and Paddy McKeever. Chance for McKeever. The white flag will be raised. Giving it long. It's two against two here. Look for where Cosgrove has sneaked in. Chance of a point. Oh, beautiful. Aiden O'Rourke back outside. Good defending. Great block down. The coach has Roland Clark. Will he score? It's going and it's over the bar. You'd never think he was just 19 years of age. Nagini involved with Jason Sherlock. They're club mates. Back down for us, Paul McGray. Good ball for Stephen McDonald. Ronan Clark is inside. And outside is John McEntee. Can he float this one over? The answer is a most definite yes. Three points for John McEntee. Eight times. Armagh and Dublin are level. Back to Kieran McGinney. Several options. None of them in the full forward line at the moment. They're all over on the half forward line. This is Oshin McConville, confronted by Paul Casey. McConville, great run, uses the fist and sends it over the bar. His first from play. 20 seconds left. Jason Sherlock making way. Ray Cosgrove, can he get room to shoot? Everybody standing on their feet. Cosgrove is fouled by Ender McNulty, and this is a free for Dublin. He scored six points. They can't watch. We have to. All of Dublin has to. Does this go to a replay? Hill 16 he faces. It's floating to the right. Will it curl off the post? Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Fancy Bellio comes away. Armagh have to hold possession. It's all over. They are in the All-Ireland final in today, three weeks, against the men of Kerry. Tommy Lyons congratulates Joe Kern. 
Full-time scoring for Park. Armagh 114, Dublin 113. What a finish.